Alright, in this tutorial we're going to work on making the feathers a little bit dense right here instead of just one feather. Also, we're going to go ahead and split it in half. I think it's going to be easier to, uh, to model when we can do a duplicate special later and merge these together. Alright, so let's go ahead and split it in half and get rid of this other half. So we're going to go insert edge loop tool. I'm going to go ahead and try to center as best you can. Go ahead and your selection tool so you're not continually uh, cutting this. Alright, so I'm going to go to my top view. Right click, face, and just do a selection. Hit delete. Here we have just half. Right, some stragglers here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Alright, so this will make it a lot easier to work on my feet. And I think I was having issues at last time with some of these, uh, with the symmetry, and that's why I've gone ahead and decided to redo this uh, with split in half. So I'll go ahead and hit R. It's still a little bit small. Go ahead and start uh, working on it. Making this look a little bit realer. All right, so what we're going to do is hit W. Go ahead and start sizing this down. Okay, so what I'm doing is just making it look a little bit more tapered than what it was before. It was just kind of a fat fingers. Okay. Back here is really huge. Whoa. See, it's uh, need to taper the top part here. I'm just doing a real simple marquee. You can do it any way you want. Just doing a marquee again. You can see that one side's higher than the other one is. I'll clean that up too. Making the, the feet a little bit thinner. Just little touches and make sure the, the geometry looks like it's flowing correctly. Still think that's sitting way too far out there, so I'm just gonna pull it out. Alright, it looks like there's a lot of improvement, but we can keep going. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe curl these down a little bit. That's pretty good. So let's let's keep going. Let's go ahead and work on the wings. All right. 
right, so what I'm going to do is just go ahead and grab another set of faces here. And that's true. Go ahead and size it down. Make sure when you extrude this, you make sure you keep the faces together so you're not extruding separately. Hit G to extrude it one more time. Let's try to create some more geometry so we can pull out some more feathers. Again, you can do this any way you want. Go to the side view. Top there, we'll go ahead and uh, clean these up. Okay, I'm gonna go my face mode, use it to push stuff in. and try to get flat. Uh, I think right here, probably side view is a nice way of putting this turn too. Hit R to squeeze them down a bit. Maybe not. Hit R. Squeeze these down. These look like pretty bad wings. All right, uh, just keep working on this. Try to uh, sculpt it the best you can. Just trying to flatten it out here so it doesn't, it's like it's curving around the body. Alright, so what I'm going to do is stop recording. I'm going to do a couple here and then uh, start working on some tail feathers too. Alright.